I found this young man's name when I was going through Unsolved Appalachia the other day. I was looking for some information on another story that I was doing a video about, and this man's name popped up. And I wanted to talk about him, but there was not a whole lot about him. And his name was on a Facebook page about missing people. And I don't know this young man's story. There was almost nothing to go on. I did find some pictures of him on Facebook. And um, honestly, I couldn't even find him on some of the missing persons pages. Um, there was a very small little article about him on Name Us. His name is Terry Curtis Prater, and according to Facebook, he went by TC. He was 26 years old when he went missing. His last date of contact was June 20th, 2021, in Lexington, Kentucky. He's a white male, 5 foot 9 and about 150 pounds. This is all that is written about him on this. He had brown hair. He, his hair was most black. It was very dark brown. He had a goatee and brown eyes. He was double jointed in both arms and legs. He had been shot in his right foot and had lost two of his little toes. He has a scar on his chest and on his chin. He was last seen wearing a brown hat, a white t-shirt, and tan cargo pants. His last known whereabouts was Lexington, Kentucky. Um, he was taken, uh, transported is what it says here. He had gotten a ride. Someone had given him a ride from a shelter. I'm assuming it was a homeless shelter. But it just says that he was transported to a bus station in Lexington, Kentucky, where he intended to travel to his mother's residence in Georgia. He was never seen again. Now, it, it says he was never seen or heard from again, but up to a bus station in Lexington by someone from the shelter he was staying in. He was supposed to go to Georgia, but he didn't make it. The lady from the shelter said he called later and asked if he could come back to the shelter, and they must have told him yes, but he never showed up. Now, it said on the other page that he had been shot in the foot and that he had lost two of his toes. So, it may be that he was shot in the leg and that maybe damage, you know, caused them to have to amputate his toes, but I don't know. And then once in the arm, it doesn't go into detail about what kind of scar it says he had on his chest. I thought at first maybe he had been shot in the chest and it was a gunshot scar. The shelter closed September the 3rd, 2021. He's been missing since June of 2021. So, why did the shelter close? Was it due to the lockdowns and stuff like that? I remember correctly he said he was going to get on a bus and go to Georgia. I remember he called sometime after that asking if he could come back to the shelter, but he didn't say where he was at at the time that he called. He just uh, you know, called and asked, can I come back? And they said, you can. I guess he was going to get his own ride back. In the pictures that I saw, he looked like your typical young Eastern Kentucky, you know, young man. He was riding four-wheelers. He was outdoors. He was wearing blue jeans and boots. He was just a typical young country boy type, you know. And um, I don't know what was going on in his life. I'm mean, homeless and shot, losing some of his toes. And then he just goes missing. It just says that he was last seen in Lexington, Kentucky. Now, I know that that's not where he was from. It doesn't say where he lived previously. If anyone has any information about him, you can contact Kentucky State Police Post 7 um, 
859-623-2404. This is on the missing people in cold cases in Kentucky. This was posted April the 8th, and the person asks, How's TC? I'm only asking if you've seen this man. He's my nephew, and he's one of my son's best friends. Please look at the picture carefully. Please, we are desperate to find him and bring him home. The last we heard from him was in June. This was in Wolf County, Kentucky. I don't know because I couldn't find anything out about any kind of police investigation or anything like that. And um, I, I'm covering his story because he is one of those with very little details. And he deserves more than that, you know. There are young people out there, old people, people who went missing as far back as the 1940s who get more mention than this young man. And um, he deserves his name to be put out there. He deserves somebody to come out and, you know, the police need to be looking into what happened. And they very well may have looked into it. I don't know. I couldn't find anything other than that one post on Name Us and Facebook. And so if anybody in the areas between Wolf County and Lexington, Kentucky know anything about the whereabouts of this young man, he would be about 29 years old now. He went missing in 2021. He was 26. So he would be about 28 now. Um, dark, curly, kind of thick, black, almost black hair, missing two toes. This was a this was a po this was included in the post because oftentimes when somebody goes missing, if remains are found, they want to know what kind of clothing was the body, you know, the remains, if clothing was found. Sometimes the the remains are so old that the clothes are just disintegrated. Sometimes maybe they can get like a band around the waistband or a, a tag or something off the clothes. They want to know stuff like piercings, missing teeth, dental work, uh, and this missing toes would have been something that they would have looked for on a a remains that may be found somewhere. So, when I typed his name in, to you know, and just typed in missing person, almost nothing came up. That one link, and you know, that's that's really sad when you think about that. I may post something on Reddit myself about him to see if anybody has heard of his case. But I appreciate everybody for taking the time to listen. I hope that, um, you know, I hope this young man's out there someplace. I hope somebody knows something. I, the question I keep going back to is, Lexington, Kentucky, for somebody, I don't know if he's, fam, you know, if he was familiar with the place. Whoever, who, whenever he left, this, if, if he was staying at this shelter in Beattyville, Kentucky, and he got a ride to a bus station in Lexington, Kentucky. Whoever drove him there, it would have been about an hour to an hour and a half's drive. In the time that he got to the bus station and they dropped him off, and he called back later and asked if he could come back, who was supposed to transport him back? Was he hitchhiking, trying to get back? Either way, it's a very dangerous highway down in that area. If he was trying to hitchhike, it's possible that he could have been hit by a car. I just don't understand why there's so so little about him trying to, anybody trying to search the ground for him, you know. He could have disappeared in downtown Lexington. Um, he may have gone to another homeless shelter there. Sometimes people become so desperate that they just, you know, would it, maybe he would have accepted a ride with somebody thinking that they were going to give him a ride back. 
I don't know. This case, like I said, I started not to even do this story because there wasn't much to go on, but now it's really, like, angered me that somewhere out there this young 26, 27-year-old young man just up and disappeared, and nobody seems to have searched for him other than Facebook posts, and, you know, did his mother never hear anything more from him? It says that he said that he was going to a bus station in Lexington to get on the bus to go to Georgia to his mother's. When he called the shelter back and said, can I come back to the shelter, did he call his mom and say, don't be watching for me on the bus, I've changed my mind and I'm not coming. Were bus records checked? Is it possible he bought a ticket, got on the bus and got off the bus somewhere between here and Georgia and disappeared somewhere, you know, out there in the world. I don't know. I hope someday that this story is updated and that there are more details.